Hey beauty babes, welcome back to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. So, today I have another Get This Lip tutorial for you, only this one is a little bit more subtle um, compared to a lot of the other looks I share. I know I share quite a bit of very colorful, over-the-top looks. I just think they're so much fun. I love rocking those, and I think those make for the best tutorials because not everybody does those. But I have had quite a few requests for something using um, more matte shades and also more neutral shades. So I thought it'd be fun today to create a look that was um, more neutral using matte shades with just a subtle touch of color for those of you who are kind of more into neutral colors and, and wanting to step out of your color box just a little bit. So if you want to get brave and do something with a, a touch of very soft, subtle color that's really going to define the eyes and make them kind of pop and look bright, um, then definitely stay tuned for this tutorial. I think you're going to love it. I am wearing kind of more plum shades. My eyes are greenish hazel. Um, but this color is not for everybody. I know that kind of pinky tone, purple colors, depending on your skin tone and eye color, can make you look a little bit sick. Um, so I would suggest if you have brown eyes, I think you totally rock this color. If you have green eyes or hazel eyes, you could totally rock this color. Um, but other colors for brown eyed babes are um, a greens, like emeralds, are just gorgeous on brown eyes. And if you have lighter eyes like blue, I think corally colors or orangey toned colors would look great on you as well. So that's something to keep in mind. So you don't have to use these same colors, but you could just do something similar with a different color. So um, before I get started with the tutorial, I'm going to show you the colors that I am using today. These are from My Beauty Diction. Oh, I absolutely love my Beauty Addiction pigments. They're just my favorite. They stay on amazing. These swatches are done without a primer. Um, and I'm only using three shades. Two of them are matte and one, as you can tell, is shimmer. So this one right here is called Nudie Booty. This one is Soft Plum. And this one gorgeous color right here is called Vengeance. And those are the only colors I'm using on my eyes today. It's a very simple, very quick look. I am also using the Rimmel London Scandalize uh, Coal Pencil in Nude. That way, for these kinds of looks, I think it's best to um, use a white or um, nude color in the waterline because it really makes your eyes um, look more awake and not so small. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and start off as usual um, using the My Beauty Addiction Shadow Poxy and just apply that all over my lid from lash line to brow bone as well as underneath my lower lash line. Next we will go in with Nudie Booty and apply that all over the lid from the lash line to the brow bone. And I like to start by patting it on before blending because, as I've mentioned before, the shadow epoxy is uh, very sticky. So you definitely want to just pat it on and go from there. Alright, next we are going to go in with, with Soft Plum and a blending brush and tape that to our crease. And we're just going to do some swirling motion actions and a slight windshield wiper action. So we're swirling it like this and then kind of taking it into the rest of our crease with this windshield wiper mode. So we're just going to slowly build that color up. Mostly staying to the outside, the outer corner. Next we're going to go in with Vengeance. This color is um, a little bit of shimmer and 
and it's dark, so we're just going to take it very, very lightly, but we'd like to add some definition to the outer corners so this plum doesn't make us look too sickly. So I'm just very lightly bringing that to the outer corner and just going to sweep it inward. And then this is the part where you could just build it up, build up the color to your own liking. I might go just a little bit darker because I like a more dramatic look, but we are trying to keep this a little bit more subtle. So I'm just going to build it up just a little bit. And kind of sweep it into my crease as well. And then we're going to go back over that with the blending brush as well. Now we're going to take that same shade, Vengeance, and bring it just slightly to the lower lash line. You don't want to go all the way across because of, with a dark shadow like this or even a dark eyeliner that tends to make your eyes look a little bit smaller. So we're just going to go half the way and then we will again be blending this out. Try to get it close to your lash line because whatever is you know lower will be blended out and um, swept away mostly. And I'm just going to kind of bring this up and connect it because we will be blending and smoking it out some more. Okay, going back to that blending brush we used with soft plum, we're just going to blend this out down here and see it'll lose um, some of the darkness and then bring it up here and blend it in as well. This way it lightens up just a little bit but we still have that definition. Do the same thing because you can see the difference here and here. Alright now going back in with Nudie Booty. I'm going to take that to the inner part here. It's going to just open up our eyes just a little bit more. And then sweep that back into that color. And also bring it into the inner corners of our eyes. And sweep into the color. And you can even sweep it up here as well. Just to blend it all in. And finally, I'm going to go back in with that uh, blending brush we've been using. I'm going to kind of wipe it off as much as I can on a little tissue down here. Sweep it into just a touch of Nudie Booty and then use it just to really blend everything all together. Now we've been blending all along, so everything should be pretty seamless, but I just like to go back through and make sure everything is blended nicely. I really think the key to a great smoky eye is just blend, blend, blend. Alright, and that is the completed look for the eyeshadows. Now I will go ahead and put on the rest of my face and come back and show you guys the finished results. So here is the finished look.
It's a very subtle and soft look, but it's a nice way to add some definition to the eyes and just a little bit of color without going over the top for those of you who um, like things a little bit more on the neutral side but want to step out of your comfort zone just a little bit. So I think this is a great way to start. It's perfect for any age and just about any eye color. And um, if you would like to see still photos of this look, I will be posting this video along with the still photos on another site that I'm a contributor, contributor for, uh, Real House Moms, and I will have that link in the description box below for you to check out. Um, also, if you do try this look, I'd love to see it, so be sure to share it with me either via Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and hashtag Agape Love Girl Look. And I'll come by and check it out, leave a comment, and if I get enough, I will also feature some of my very favorites. So thank you so much for stopping by. Give this a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.